In Swaziland, a little kingdom in southern Africa, one out of four sexually active adults has HIV AIDS, while an enormous 80% of the tens of thousands of people who have tuberculosis are also co-infected with HIV. This double epidemic of HIV and TB is having devastating consequences. Life expectancy has fallen to under 32 years of age, and Swaziland's already fragile health system is struggling to cope with this public health crisis. The international medical aid organisation Médecins Sans Frontières has been working in Swaziland since November 2007. This year, prompted by the growing HIV-TB epidemic, it decided to jointly organise, with the Swaziland Ministry of Health, an international consultative workshop to discuss the problem of HIV-TB co-infection in southern Africa. The workshop will be held in late October. L'objectif de cette rencontre que nous organisons en Swaziland, c'est précisément de permettre à des dizaines d'experts du sida et de la tuberculose de se réunir et de réfléchir ensemble à ceci, comment faire face à cette situation unique qui, de cette double épidémie qui frappe si durement les pays du sud de l'Afrique et le Swaziland en particulier. Le royaume du Swaziland connaît en effet parmi les taux de prévalence du VIH sida les plus élevés du monde. On y voit malheureusement s'y développer de plus en plus de cas de tuberculose résistante au traitement habituel. En plus, il n'y a pas d'école de médecine dans le pays. Le faible nombre de médecins et de personnels soignants limite fortement la capacité des autorités à répondre à ce qui est une véritable catastrophe humanitaire. Beaucoup de malades vivent dans des communautés rurales éloignées les unes des autres et cette dispersion rend l'équation encore plus compliquée. Les équipes de MSF dans la région de Chiselvénie sont en première ligne pour aider à la prise en charge des malades et au suivi de leur traitement, mais ça ne suffit certainement pas. Il faut aujourd'hui penser à de nouveaux moyens de lutter contre cette double épidémie et nous espérons que la réunion de travail permettra de définir de nouvelles pistes ou de proposer des solutions innovantes pour le système de santé du Swaziland et d'ailleurs des pays voisins qui subissent les mêmes problèmes. Ces solutions innovantes pourraient être par exemple de nouveaux tests pour un diagnostic plus rapide de la tuberculose ou des mesures architecturales qui visent à limiter la transmission de la tuberculose dans les communautés. The director of the World Health Organization's Stop TB Partnership is Dr. Mario Riviglioni. He believes involving the affected communities in the fight against HIV and TB is vital. Now, treatment of tuberculosis, unfortunately, is not an issue of one week or ten days, like it is for pneumonia. It's a treatment that has to last today about six months, in fact, six months as a minimum. So, uh, uh, the point here is where do you do this treatment? So, we believe very much in the community care schemes. We believe in a, a situation where the doctors or the nurse that detects a case ensures that this case, if it's not too sick to be hospitalized, can go home immediately in his or her own community and be taken care of in that particular community. To do that, you need a system of, again, delegation of authority and particularly of training of basic workers, sometimes even illiterate workers, that can help this patient continue the treatment for six months. Because you'll be surprised how many tend to abandon the treatment because they feel sick when they take the pill or they don't uh, uh, necessarily like to take the pill for six months. So it's absolutely crucial that these community care schemes are well developed and they depend very much on local culture and on local capacity that has to be uh, optimized. In addition to the health crisis caused by the HIV AIDS and tuberculosis double epidemic, there's the additional threat posed by the emergence of a large number of cases of drug-resistant tuberculosis. Treating multi-drug resistant TB is very difficult, painful for the patient and time-consuming. Treatment takes on average two years. Uh, final point, as I said, is that of multi-drug resistant TB. So Swaziland, like many countries now in southern Africa, is facing the problem of multi-drug resistant TB and even perhaps of XDR TB in a number of cases that is growing. Now these are extremely concerning developments especially for a country that uh, has a lot of HIV because the transmission of multidrug resistant and XDR-TB can be in fact accelerated. We have had examples in South Africa, in KwaZulu-Natal, of uh, people that have been infected with multidrug and XDR-TB uh, uh, strains that have been, has been transmitted very, very rapidly in the community or in the hospital where they were. Despite the numerous challenges, MSF teams and their colleagues in the Swaziland Ministry of Health 
hope that innovative solutions can be found to effectively fight the TB-HIV-AIDS battle that is currently being waged.